For the next example, um, please don't do this. Don't say, oh, those divide out. No, 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 don't do that. Because, like, does this make sense? 4 minus 4 minus 1, like, that's just, you can't just, like, divide those out. That doesn't make any sense, okay? So don't just divide that out. Again, you guys see a, you guys see a fraction, and you say, oh, we talked about that. Rational functions are restricted when our denominator cannot equal 0, right? Now, we got to be careful because we could have like radicals in the numerator or something like that too, right? So let's look at our numerator. Does our numerator have any restrictions of that type of function? Is there any restrictions for x squared? No, because Mr. McCullin kept on saying we looked at x squared, right? That's a continuous function. That's good. So the only thing we need to worry about here is what are the numbers that make our denominator equal to 0? Those are not in our domain, right? So we set it equal to 0, and we solve. So this is kind of like the problem I actually already did. Factor out an x. Apply the 0 product property. So x equals 0 and x equals 1. So that means my function is defined for all numbers except 0 and 1. Now for this one, I'm going to graph the number line because, question, what? I'm going to graph the number line just so I can like visually understand this one or see it. So it's undefined there, and it's undefined there. However, everything else, we're good. So again, if you want to write the domain and you have a like, function that's broken up from different discontinuities, just write the domain of like each interval. Okay? So the interval of this domain would be negative infinity to 0. And then union, the domain of this interval, 0 to 1. And then union, 1 to infinity. Okay. All right. Um, now the next one is an interesting